Hello and welcome. I'm Master Lama Risaji, and this is our Saturday edition of Risaji Speaks. What's going to be our lesson for this Saturday? Energy healing unleash. Think of the power of acupuncture and chakra balancing. You know, a very interesting thing about acupuncture medicine, a lot of people don't know this, you can go back and check, but in the 1970s, of all president, it was Richard Nixon that sent students from John Hopkins Medical School to Beijing, China, and students from Beijing came to John Hopkins and they did a foreign exchange for several years. What that did, it opened up a lot of the disciplines of Tai Chi, uh, herbology, acupuncture to the Northeast. Boston got inundated, New York's Chinatown. This was about the time that Lama G was actually coming into New York right after the first part of this wave. And I saw it happening. But because it was inundated by a the AMA under the investigation, the kind of coined acupuncture medicine, still this concept, this for that, this for that. They still thought about it as a symptom-driven uh, medicine. In other words, put a Band-Aid on it, you know, pop a pill, push a button, the kind of thing, this for that. But as you deeply investigate the core study of acupuncture medicine, you can go back over five millenniums. Yes, you can. You go back over five millenniums and at the root of herbology and, and acupuncture, was this concept of balancing the major meridian grids. There are thousands, literally, of meridians running through the body. Think of electrical impulse, electromagnetic impulse running through electronic veins and arteries, right? Called meridians, energy pathways in the body. Our seven major chakras correspond to our endocrine gland system in the body. And the function of the endocrine gland system and how the uh, nadas work, the spokes, which 72,000 just for the seven chakras alone, how many of them are turned out? is all seven chakras spinning in a harmonious way, like seven dragons behind me pulling a chariot. One goes lame, the other six have to work hard to keep up. Soon the system comes out of balance. That 4D energy body comes out of balance usually first. If it remains out of balance for any given time, it begins to have an impression on the physical vehicle and that imbalances can lead us to disharmony or dis-ease, lack of ease, interesting, right? Whereas balancing with acupuncture medicine, proper herbs in the body, proper qigong exercises like we teach at the Tai qigong system at the circle of qi why do you think that we're drawing metaphysical chiropractors metaphysical acupuncturists metaphysical even mds did you know there were literally metaphysical mds in our organization we actually have a holistic and medical advisory board here. How about that? Is that not cutting edge? Pretty cutting edge. It's amazing how these physicians are working with the principles 
of Tai Chi Gong, acupuncturist, chakra balancing. See, the, the where to all of this is if we bring the body, mind, and spirit, referred to in ancient India as the true Chanda, that everything else seems to fall into place. The body, mind, and spirit is miraculous in its nature, in its ability to heal. Healing and transformation, even ascension, is the natural modest operanda of our being, right? It's where evolution and spirituality meet. According to the Lama Seri, when that happens, absolute magic absolute magic see when you understand that we're all in pursuit of a spiritual understanding of our almighty creator himself that part of becoming human was for us to slow down in consciousness to be able to catch what he was doing in creation including what he's doing in us coin the mirror meditation and the column exercise. I want you to think about it. If I'm coming into balance, wouldn't it make sense that my spirit, mind, and body would heal itself? Maybe that's where Jesus makes reference when a doctor is approached to him and talks about healing. And Jesus does a beeline and turns right back to that physician. And the first thing out of Jesus' mouth is, physician, heal thyself. Jesus taught, I come to bring you a life. And that life can be more abundantly if you choose it. But it begins with you. For you shall be a wellspring bubbling up into life everlasting. And in this concept, now you have plenty of knowledge, plenty of energy and wisdom to share with people who will appreciate what it is the Holy Spirit has to offer through you. We all come with a divine mission buried within our hearts. Our soul, our sarat, it already knows that. Om Shorod, Shorod, Om Shorod, 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 Om Shorod. And so does our spirit. Om Shakti. 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 And within us all lives the seed of all creation. Om Nadabino. Om Nadabino. Om Nadabino. Om Nada Bindu. In this year of the dragon, in this year of the wood dragon, let us focus on receiving balance in our life, following the footsteps of the city yoga in kundalini yoga to balance the chakras, ancient art of acupuncture to create that balance for the power grid that runs through us just as the blood runs through our veins and our arteries. 
Let us reach for balance. When we're reading the circle of chi that is offered to people that are members at the circle of chi.com, it's about eight chapters of balance. How do we bring ourselves in the harmonious balance so that our heavenly father can use us in a way see fitting to him? When this is possible, then we reign in the epilogue of eternity and we are the instrument worthy of Abba or Brahm. And this is the highest thanksgiving that a human can give to the heavenly father and say, by our effort alone, thank you, holy of all holies that you have manifested to you. Now out of free will, I return the love to you that you have always given me unconditionally. Praise be to Allah. Baraka Bashai, may the blessings be to you and to your glorious family. Can't wait to see you Monday, bright Monday, for a new week of Rasaji Speaks. And don't be late. I'll be watching. God bless. Thank you.